Welcome to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy and I'm here today with the folks from Natural Innovations and we are talking New Year resolutions for 2011 and Kelly Blackledge yes. is one of my guests today and uh, she we're going to talk first about her resolution, how it went. She uh, made a resolution last year, and we'll see how that went. And then we're <laughs> going to talk about other resolutions, uh, in particular green. How can you can be more green or sustainable, live sustainably uh, in 2011? So, Kelly, That's right. uh, let's talk a little well, bit about Well, Natural Innovations it. is always interested in sharing more information about how we can be more environmentally friendly um, with the natural world as well as our social environment as well. <laughs> and Well, last year I resolved to... Um, really get rid of baggies and cellophane <laughs> to really change my kitchen and how I use um, packaged food for the road and, and all of that. I um, gave away the baggies that I had left in my kitchen and the cellophane and it's been out of my house for a year. Wow. <laughs> at that... first was, uh, it was kind of hard at first because, you know, when you take your lunch or um, put chips in a bag to go, you know, you're always grabbing for that baggie or just a little, a few snacks here and there. Mm -hmm. um, it, it It's hard, but you think if you take the time to think about it just for a minute, there's always another container that you can use. You don't have to put things in a baggie. But it's and so convenient. It's, <laughs> but so is grabbing. I mean, we all have that drawer with all of these um, containers in it. Those are convenient too. So it's just a matter of taking the time to say, whoa, this will fit in here, this will fit in this, mm -hmm. you know, just instead of grabbing a baggie. And mm -hmm. if they're not in your house, well, you have to come up with another way <laughs> to package that. So it that just, food. it made you think a little bit more about different ways of doing things is kind of the, yeah. the essence of what what your resolution was all about really. exactly exactly okay. and so the first couple of months was hard because you get in, you have to make it a habit mm -hmm. and so that's kind of difficult but after that it was a no-brainer it was pretty easy to to package food and in, um, in a different way mm -hmm. all right okay so uh, yours was a uh, that was part of yours and uh, you know so that went pretty well after the first couple of weeks you know they always say it takes a good month to really get in the habit yeah. of doing things Yes, and, it uh, does. Yeah, so. it does. So not only the cellophane and um, and reusing bags like bread bags mm. or um, um, food containers that um, are can easily be reused, but also um, those grocery bags as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, not using grocery bags. You know, uh, the somebody um, was estimating that about three hundred plastic grocery bags goes through the hands of an average person hmm. in a year. 300 bags and and that's a minimum i mean the, some of the estimates are more like six to seven hundred bags so it's an amazing amount of plastic and it does have an effect on our environment you i know we've all seen them in trees and um and in wildlife too well what if you use your plastic bags to pick up after your dog you can still reuse those bags and that's helpful but they okay. still last a thousand years okay. before they disappear. So even when Pete the Pelican, <laughs> Pete the Pelican story, but there was a pelican that perished because he had ate a bag and, and those bags make it difficult for them to digest their regular food and so even though they can still eat, their, their regular food isn't digesting appropriately so they slowly die. Okay. And um, that bird will disintegrate in the wild, you know, it breaks down, but the bag doesn't. Huh. It's still around and available to um, cause damage to other wildlife. Interesting stuff here. Kelly Blackledge, my guest here on Hometown Happenings. We're talking about resolutions for 2011, and Kelly's talking about her uh, resolution to use uh, use more environmentally friendly means of uh, saving things and just kind of readjust things in your, in your household, in your life. Yeah. That's okay. right. And there are really cute, you know, <laughs> little smiley face, <laughs> you know, things that you can use. Um, this is kind of a neat tool. It's it's plastic, but um, it does last a long time. You can actually put it in the dishwasher. And I know people are thinking, how do you cover that bowl of leftover food? You always put cellophane over mm -hmm. it. Um, this pops right on the bowl and you just press it down oh, and, cool. and, it, and it holds your oh, um, that's food slick. tight. So it's pretty, pretty okay. neat. And then it pops off pretty easy. And like I said, you can just throw it in the dishwasher and use it again another time. Mm -hmm. So pretty neat neat tools that are available um, to to make this an easy resolution. All right. All right. Kelly Blackledge and folks from Natural Innovations are here with me today on Hometown Happenings. We're going to take a quick break and be back with more. Uh, we'll have some ideas for resolutions in 2011 when we return. 
<laughs> Welcome back to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy here with uh, Kelly Blackledge and others from Natural Innovations. Today we're talking about New Year's resolutions for 2011. And Kelly, uh, what is your New Year's Now New the Year's next resolution? one, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I've got everything in containers, but I have not been very good about composting my food. Okay. So this year I'm really going to work hard on, on um, coming up with a, a way to make it simple for me to compost leftovers and um, everything from banana peels to <laughs> coffee grounds and okay. all of those things. So okay. that's my resolution this year is to, to do that better. All right, and we are a few days into January. And how's it going? It's a slow start right now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, I'm still kind of trying to get that that habit down and, okay. um, and the tools that you need to, you know, I mean, it's got to go somewhere. You can always save them in containers. I've got lots of <laughs> containers now that I'm reusing, so okay. yeah. All right, Kelly Blackledge, uh, getting into composting. Yes. All right, for 2011. And my next guest uh, from Natural Innovations, Dan Olson. And Dan, what is your uh, New Year's resolution? Well, for a long time, many years actually, I've been thinking about I really should uh, think about converting my household from incandescent light bulbs to um, compact fluorescence. And I've kind of resisted that for a long time because I'd heard the things about well, the light isn't as warm and that kind of thing, and okay. they're not as bright and that kind of thing. But um, I can attest to the fact that now the technology has come along to where um, you can replace your incandescent light bulbs and still have that warm light feeling. And actually, I have one right here. I can show you what they look like. They're a little uh, like curly pigtail type light bulb. Um, and the ones, most of the light bulbs in my house are the 60 watts, so I replaced mm -hmm. them with the 13 watt, which is the equivalent of the 60 watt. So you're saving quite a bit and really not giving up anything in terms of the quality of the light and the feeling of the light. Mm -hmm. A couple of things to make uh, note of, though, is that only certain ones work with a dimmer. So if you've got dimmers in your oh. kitchen or something, you need to make sure that you pick a compact fluorescent that is going to be compatible with dimmers. Okay, and that we would usually say that on the packaging maybe. Yes, yeah, so okay. if you look closely, it'll say whether it's suitable for the dimmer or not. And then it'll also tell you, you know, just look for uh, the replacement for the type of bulb you have. If you have a 60 watt, it's usually a 13 watt. Mm -hmm. And if you use a brighter bulb, um, you know, it's going to be a little higher wattage than the 13 watt. But there, you're, you know, you're looking at a, a very significant savings and really not giving up anything. Okay. All right, Dan Olson, changing his light bulbs. What a great idea. <laughs> All right, you're supposed to hold a light bulb over your head, Dan. All right, Erica Johnson, and she is also with Natural Innovations. And Erica, what is your resolution? Mine, Carol, is with water. So um, I'm a big water conserver, and so what we did in 2010 was we had the low flow shower heads installed and on all of our faucets. But this year we just moved, so uh, the toilets now do not have the energy efficiency water that we had in our other house. So we're going to install the water saving device, which I'm going to make my own bottle of sand that you put in your toilet that saves a lot of water every year. So we're going to do that, and then uh, we're also going to work on um, shorter showers. And I know that for a lot of people that's really hard because it's a luxury, that's a relaxing thing to sit and let the water pour. And so we're just going to encourage family members to uh, relax in other ways other than in a hot shower, we'd grab a cup of tea or sit on the couch and relax in that time that you would just sit in the shower so that you're not using all that water. So we're going to focus on water in our house. Okay. All right. Very good. Erica Johnson focusing on water. And uh, those are some ideas for 2011. And my, I guess my plan for uh, 2011, my resolution is to reuse, recycle, and what was the other one? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. So each week I'm going to take a box into the Boys and Girls Club thrift store and give something away and not buy anything. Well, I could buy something, but I would reuse it then. So anyway, that's my resolution. Hopefully we'll stick to it. I know that there's only about 12% of those who start the resolutions that stick to it, but uh, good luck. But remember, every little thing counts. So even if you do start and stop, every little bit helps. So All right, do what very you can. Good. With that, I'll have to wrap it up for Hometown Happenings. Happy New Year uh, 2011, and we'll be checking back with these folks. Maybe mid-year we'll see how they're doing, and then at the end of the year again. And for Hometown Happenings on TV3, I'm Carol McCarthy.